Welcome to another edition of Plugin Police. Uh, today uh, I have uh, three rules uh, when uh, getting, acquiring paid plugins or when uh, downloading uh, free plugins. Uh, rule number one is uh, you probably don't need them. Uh, most of your stock plugins in your DAW you can uh, do most things with. Um, uh, it's not that that uh, many plugins uh, that uh, they offer to you as a sort of snake oil and as a, uh, a fix to all your problems. Um, you cannot find in your DAW. Some paid ones have some extra advantages and sometimes can accelerate a little bit your workflow. But most of them you don't need. Now I talk over here about effect plugins. I don't talk about instruments. Of course, there are some instruments that uh, and some creative tools uh, in plug in the plugin world that can uh, that you cannot find in your stock uh, plugins of your DAW. But most of the normal plugins, so effects plugins and compressors and equalizers and stuff, you can just find in your in your DAW. So that's um, that's the first rule of it. Um, you probably don't need them, and I'm saying that is because. Um, um, if you go down the rabbit hole of plugins, both paid and free, you get uh, so so many, and uh, you all the time uh, d download uh, the free versions, or uh, you uh, you uh, you all the time buy uh, buy buy paid versions, and uh, you get to a point where you have so many plugins that uh, because of so many trees, you can't see the forest anymore, and uh, that is actually very uh, inhabiting, uh, very. Uh, uh, actually not really good for your workflow because uh, if you have too many things then it's very difficult uh, to uh, to uh, to pick the right tool and to learn also all the tools well because you have so many then you know so uh, keep especially as a beginner um, keep your 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 plugin library as small as you can and learn learn your plugins including your your stock ones and uh, and don't by the way don't believe the hype and don't believe the 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 thing of the of the YouTubers and the influencers of that magic plugin that all of a sudden is gonna uh, let you uh, score very high on the charts and and they're gonna make your production sound awesome because uh, the, the reality is it uh, that uh, most of the times it's not like that at all and that actually you can better accept the fact that uh, uh, maybe you have still a lot to learn or that you just suck in producing music you know because uh, there's many 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 excellent things that are made with uh, plug with uh, stock uh, plugins uh, so uh, you don't need to. Need all that. It's not that it cannot. Uh, um, how do you call that? Uh, m make your work better by using some more quality plugins. You know, to get the last ten percent of of quality out of your sound or out of your production. Uh, in that sense, uh, paid paid plugins can help, and also sometimes with the workflow. But uh, that uh, that that. Uh, that that cure uh, one cure for 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 solving all your audio problems. Most of the problems are more uh, in our uh, production capabilities and uh, um, than uh, than actually uh, in plugins. And uh, that wonder plugin uh, doesn't exist. Most of it is uh, snake oil. And to be very honest, if you start looking to both paid and both uh, both. Uh, um, uh, free free plugins. Then uh, I think I use only 15 or 20 percent of the plugins that I have installed in my computer. So uh, a lot of space is being occupied. A lot of bloat where your computer has too many files on it and starts getting sluggish and uh, too many uh, too many installations, too many VSTs uh, that uh, not all are created equal in some. Uh, you know so. You know, you start even having instability problems and your computer starts slowing down because you have so many plugins installed. Uh, and that goes wider also for samples. If you have too many samples, I mean, uh, sample packs with uh, 500,000 samples and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, 50 or 60 gigabytes of wave samples is completely ludicrous uh, to uh, search through that. And, uh, you know, um, that uh, the way of working with that is not scrolling through it, but it's just in typing uh, the, the, the key you're looking for or uh, the BPM or something like that or an FX or a riser or something uh, uh, instead of going through that whole pile of, 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 of samples and then I always go back also to many samples I went back before so probably 90% of the sample library is also just totally unused and untouched. Now the second uh, rule of uh, getting both paid and free plugins is uh, 
uh, uh, try to get them all in the same place because you don't want to be dealing with all these software managers and all these that's again uh, extra installation and software and logins and and uh, updates and uh, it's terrible so if you can find everything in one place that's the best thing you can do you know um, so uh, look for one uh, one provider that has more or less the, the plugins that you like both paid and free and take them from there and avoid software centers and uh, um, how do you call that? Uh, 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 software managers and stuff. Uh, uh, try to avoid that uh, because it's actually really a big, a big pain in the ass. And even some free plugins have software managers and need to be activated and need to constantly go online to still re re-verify that you 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 own it while it's a free version. So even in that, uh, there's sometimes uh, piracy measures on it. You need to be then. Uh, uh, logged into their service center and uh, s- software center, software manager. So uh, avoid those ones also if you can, and try to have everything in uh, in one uh, one platform. Otherwise, you end up with uh, 20 different uh, software managers and uh, uh, logins and uh, accounts on different uh, providers, which is a real pain in the ass. You know, even if you need to reinstall your computer again and all your VSTs and your plugins, then uh, you're for days busy going to uh, different providers and uh, websites and uh, software centers and uh, uh, installing, updating and activating. Uh, that's uh, really a pain in the ass. So that's a r- r- rule number true, uh, two. And uh, rule number three is, uh, uh, and that is really, I think, uh, the best rule of all of them. Uh, never, ever, ever give these guys your real email address. Just don't do it. Um, uh, make yourself an extra, uh, an, uh, a second email account, and uh, uh, and that goes included for not just the paid uh, plugins, but also the free plugins. Uh, uh, besides the ones you can do- download directly, but the ones that you have to give an email, do not give them your email, because if you do that, uh, then you have your email box uh, bloated also, because they just uh, keep on arresting you with uh, uh, promotions and uh, to buy plugins, and uh, you, your whole email account becomes one big spam box, and you get all the plugin providers. Uh, that you got a free plugin from or a paid plugin on constantly bombing you and arresting you for uh, for deals and for uh, buying plugins and for uh, stuff that most of it you don't even uh, really need, you know. And by the way, also, you know, who needs, uh, I mean, you, you need to three uh, three eeks and that's about it, you know, a paramedic eek, a dynamic eek and uh, maybe uh, still uh, an eek for a bus compressor or something, you know, to throw on a bus compressor and that's about all you need, you know. I mean, you know, if you look today, uh, you have people that have uh, 50 different eeks, you know, do you really need it? You need maybe uh, one eek that is uh, very good in mastering. Uh, like, for example, I use uh, three three different eeks or something most of the times, and then one I use for mastering. It's W495 of Pulsar that I use for mastering. And then my other other eeks, I use uh, Melda eek. It's the M-Dynamic eek I use. And then I use still a stock eek, and I use a free eek also from Melda. And uh, then I use the W495 as a mastering eek, and that's it. That's the only eeks that I use, you know. I don't need uh, any any more eeks, you know. So uh, so there you go. And also, by the way, look a little bit also uh, if you buy plugins. Uh, also, um, uh, the CPU uh, uh, usage, so uh, the load in your computer. Some plugins are really heavy on load. Uh, uh, isotope plugins are very, very heavy on the load, so... For example, I don't appreciate... Uh, I mean, I use them more, don't get me wrong. I have uh, three element packs. I have Nectar elements, I have RX elements, and I have... Uh, uh, what was the other elements I had? I had another, uh, another pl- plug-in uh, from them. And uh, you have also then the RX uh, free eek now. But uh, I find the Isotope and some other plug-in uh, providers, their plugins very heavy on CPU load. So before you start buying also, uh, check out a little bit what the CPU hit is. Uh, check with people online who have used it, uh, because... Uh, some plugins, they are uh, very f- fancy pansy, but uh, very high uh, CPU uh, loads on it. Uh, and then many times even your, your, your stock ones are, are, uh, are uh, even better. Or, uh, just look at least for, uh, for, um, for plugins with a low CPU hit on it. Uh, so, but there you go. Here are my uh, recommendations of uh, the free, free rules for when you buy paid uh, plugins or when you download uh, free plugins. So, there you go. Until the next time, stay safe, take care. I'll catch you soon.